Hello there. In this video, we're going to be discussing the benefits of shooting in RAW. Now, if you're uh, new to photography, you might not even know what r RAW means and what the benefits are. But yeah, don't worry. I'll explain that. All right, let's break it down. RAW is like the unfiltered version of your photo. It keeps all the information your camera captures, even the less than perfect bits. So RAW is like an unprocessed, data-rich starting point for your edits. Now, this might not be the most amazing photo of a bike against a wall. You know, the colors are muted. Yeah, not much going on. Now, this is a photo I took in uh, Stockholm. This was very much a, a run and gun situation. I had the setting where I could take both JPEGs and RAW photos at the same time, which again makes you have less space on the SD card, but it hasn't been a problem for me yet. This is the JPEG. This is that same photo but the raw file, which again, unprocessed raw data. After uh, tweaking it in this instance in Luminar, yeah, I got it to look like this. Wow. Which again, maybe not to everyone's uh, taste, but I found it a bit more pleasing than this flat photo. That is the kind of power you can have when you shoot raw. After just the raw edits, I got it to look a lot better so I can have a good starting point to then go ahead and make the color adjustments, the, uh, the stylistic choices that I went for for this photo. That is pretty much what it means to have taken photos in RAW. It just gives you the chance to rectify some mistakes that you will definitely end up making if you keep, you know, shooting photos. You're just gonna make mistakes and uh, it's good to have that as a rescue system. Right, so here's another example of a pretty dull looking, yeah, very not saturated photo that I took again in Sweden and Stockholm. Now again, this is the JPEG and here is the raw photo. Like looks even less saturated than the JPEG, which I mean, makes sense because the JPEG is actually processed. Anyways, after the initial raw edits I made, I had this to work with. You know, a bit more saturation in there and, uh, you know, it's got some potential. Again, after a few minutes, 10 or 15 minutes, I had this one. I don't know about you, but uh, that is quite the difference. It goes from barely usable snapshot to maybe usable snapshot. So right, the point being, nobody's born a great photographer, right? Shooting a raw is like having a buddy with you, you know, telling you it's cool to make mistakes, it's all right, you know, we're all learning. You can fix it in post, actually. Not if you mess it up extremely, but you might be able to save a <laughs> terrible photo. I challenge you to grab your camera. I don't care what it is. It most likely has a feature or a setting where you can turn on raw photo. Just go out there and take a photo. Just do it. Just take a photo. Doesn't really matter if you get don't get the settings quite right. Hell, just put it in auto. Go go ahead. But yeah, most importantly, try to enjoy the process. A quick thing, if you are enjoying this video, uh really helps me out. If you click the like button down there. Hell, you, the subscribe button, why not? Now if you want any more videos on this topic or any other topic, please uh mention it down in the comments and uh I'll see what I can do with it. I think that's a wrap. Conclusion. Raw's your ally, use it because it's going to help you in the long run and it could seriously help you save a photo, especially if it's like an important one you don't want to miss out on having. It might just save that photo for you with some editing, you know, that's another video. Until next time, happy shooting.